Pleiadian Wisdom for Our Ascension Source, www.familyofagata.com General Information about the Pleiadians Pleiadians are of Elohim, which means they are souls created in 12D that descend to, in their case, 7D and experience creation as a more advanced race of beings, as opposed to evolving upwards from a lower dimension. The Pleiades is in the 7th dimension and 7th density, and Pleiadeans can experience the 12th dimension and higher. Pleiadeans can adapt to any dimension they travel to. Pleiadeans are the first race in creation, but not the first beings in creation. As the first, they are also the most powerful and advanced. They are the leaders of the Galactic Federation of Light. Contrary to what other sources have said, Pleiadeans do not descend from Lyrans or the Lyra constellation. Message from Aya, Pleiadean Emissary At the present time in speaking from Earth, we, the Pleiadeans have ascended to be in any density. With our deep love for Source and one another, all creation, we have the ability to exist with angels and light beings. We have embraced them as our family, and we know them as we are known. In doing so, we also travel as they do and ascend with them as called on for the expansion of all creation. We are part of divinity as all creation, but the difference between us and current humanity is we know. In knowing and feeling, expansion takes place. There is no awakening for us, as this is a human label meaning, to remember who you are as Source. Some humans awaken to remember more of their origin after emerging from Source. We are currently able to access any level of consciousness, therefore, our intention and mission is to assist Earth in the expansion of all creation. We are here to assist and save this dying planet. It was once one of beauty and harmony, taken over by greed and darkness, the masses were brainwashed and didn't even realize they had lost all control. Now there is so much toxicity, hatred, fear, and dread. This is because people have forgotten their source. They have believed the lie, incarnation after incarnation. In between lives, they remember and return in the hope of making a better plan. Born into darkness, their power is forgotten again. We will assist to change this. It may take time, but it will happen. This is why we are here, only for love and expansion, and to raise the vibrational frequency of this living entity called Earth. To assist in the awakening of the masses after removing the darkness, shining light brightly onto Earth again. Ascension Q&A 1. Is Ascension, or the Shift, the same thing as the Biblical Rapture? Yes. 2. When will the shift happen? No one knows the exact moment, but the Pleiadeans say that it will happen during the lifetimes of the generations currently present on Earth. 3. What is Sheen? 5D Earth. Sheen is what Pleiadeans call 5D Earth. The parallel dimension Jesus was referring to when he spoke of preparing many mansions. It's a version of Earth free of dark forces, where humans will have a Star Trek future as a galactic civilization. 4. What will happen to those WHO shift, and those who don't? In the blink of an eye, millions of souls will ascend to a higher timeline, or a new heaven. This is not a physical death. People will vanish from 3D reality and find themselves on a perfect replica of this Earth, but free of evil. Humans will finally have full disclosure and take the next step of becoming a galactic civilization and meeting many benevolent ET races. 5. Will I see my deceased friends and family? The deceased won't come back to life as the same humans. But there will be a reunion for all souls who will remember all their past lives and relationships. Pleiadeans, Arcturians and others will arrive who lived as our human families in many lifetimes. There will be a perfect understanding of all these connections when the time comes. 6. How do I know if I will ascend? Do your best and you will be fine. Only very low vibration, evil people will not make the first wave, but even they will have the opportunity. 7. Will my pets ascend? Yes. Animals and pets ascend too. Nothing will be lost, everything will be gained. No one should worry about losing a connection to anyone they love. 8. Will I live in the same house with the same people? Everything will be changed, and there are no guarantees for what each person will experience. Nothing will be lost, but circumstance may be rearranged. 9. Will there be a solar flash? The shift is described as a solar flash, but Pleiadeans explain this isn't solar activity but a flash of consciousness. There won't be any 3D devastation because of the sun at the time of the shift. 10. What is the ringing in my ears? If not from a physical medical condition, this can accompany with a change in frequency within your energy field. It can be from a download, or from the presence of a higher being or guide nearby. Spirituality Q&A 1. What is God? Pleiadeans define God as Jesus did, the source that lives within us. We are all divine manifestations of God experiencing God's self. 
Pleiadians say that the true nature of Prime Creator is unknowable to all beings, including Elohim, but is understood as the oneness that exists within all things. The gods of mythology and the local gods of Abrahamic religions who interacted with humans were extraterrestrials playing God. 2. What is Elohim? Elohim refers to the first beings in creation who descended directly from 12D source, and include the most powerful star races like the Pleiadians, Arcturians, Syrians, and the angelic groups like Archangels, Angels, Nature Spirits and Fae, Fairies. Beings who aren't of Elohim have ascended from lower dimensions upwards. This includes most life in the universe. There aren't old souls or new souls, only different paths the soul can take. 3. Are there old souls and new souls? All souls are old, and there aren't new souls being created. There are only different paths a soul takes. Elohim begin advanced, descending directly from 12D source, while others begin in lower dimensions and work their way up. All souls are from God. All souls are God experiencing creation by experiencing it in as many ways as possible. 4. What is the difference between starseeds and lightworkers? All souls are old souls. There are souls which are earth native and have only evolved on earth, and there are souls called star seeds who originate in other star systems and have come to earth for the experience of incarnating as human. Lightworkers are 144,000 activated star seeds who will help awaken others in the last days before earth's ascension, the shift to sheen. 5. Are earth native souls inherently less spiritual than star seeds? Earth native souls, souls who have only had human lifetimes on earth, have the same soul connection to God's source as any other but don't have a higher dimensional etheric DNA which allows uploads and downloads with our star family. All humans have the same ability to be spiritual, but many star seeds specifically come to raise spiritual awareness, which can be triggered through DNA downloads. 6. Who are the 144,000? The 144,000 are souls that were chosen while still in the higher realms. Archangels and ascended masters chose these souls for the purpose of gathering souls as earth shifts in density. They will emit a high frequency of light that is part of the shift itself. This light frequency creates a gathering of souls and all feel only love and peace. 7. How do I raise my vibration? Make positive choices. Be kind to yourself and others. Forgive yourself and others. Be light. 8. How do I pray? Prayer can be like a meditation, or it can be more. The best way to connect with your higher self, your guides, or God is through heart-centered prayer. Find a loving feeling deep within, a feeling of love and gratitude, and let this feeling overtake you. From this space, you can receive and perceive on a higher level. Asking God for things is less effective than meditating with gratitude that is has already happened. This process more easily manifests your thoughts into reality. 9. Do souls incarnate as animals? All souls are only incarnating as human. Thousands of years ago, some star seeds had experiences on Earth as dolphins and otters. 10. How many extraterrestrial groups have incarnated on Earth in total? 180. 11. How many starseeds are currently incarnated on Earth? From 2018. 200 million, total number of starseeds currently incarnated on Earth. 75 million, total Pleiadians incarnated. 50 million, total Arcturians incarnated. These are the two main groups. The rest of the starseed population are a mix of many other star races. 6 million, Pleiadians serving in Galactic Federation of Light, not all here are members of the Galactic Federation of Light. 30 million, total number of Galactic Federation of Light members present including many races. 802,058 Archangels are here assisting in non-physical. 3,850 Archangels are here in human bodies. Density, dimension and the shift to higher frequency. Density is vibrational frequency, low or high frequency. The higher the frequency of the object or being, the more unseen it is to human eyes. A high vibrational being can lower their frequency to be seen by those in the lower dimensions. High vibe star races, fairies, angels and archangels are known to do this. Dimension is location, a location where the being or object exists from 3D to 12D+. Elohim are from 12D origin. Pleiadians come from Elohim, as do many other positive star races, but choose to live in the seventh density in the seventh dimension natively. 4D Astral is a location with many frequencies, so all of the higher vibrational entities mentioned above can go there, as well as beings of lower densities and vibrational frequencies. All matter is created in the 4D Astral before it manifests in 3D. Thoughts, therefore, become things in 3D. Therefore, it is important to monitor your thoughts always and vigilantly. 
The shift, Earth is in 3D, a location of low density vibration and frequency. The higher realms cannot be seen from here with the naked eye. Earth is currently shifting to a higher density, 5D. Many will choose to stay in 5D, while others may move to higher dimensions and or places of their soul origins. No relationships formed in love will be broken, and those that migrate to the higher dimensions will have the choice and abilities to visit the lower dimensions to see their loved ones. There will be no jealousy, strife, or other low vibrational emotions. The overall perspective after the shift will be from the soul. There is nothing to fear about the shift.